And they have a bit of a setup, actually. They already have some people at the bomb site. They realize there's nobody top mid. And look at how the entire defense is switching this way. What a way to get started. First kill of the legend stage. And it goes to Electronic. Bit there to follow it up. And it's a three versus four. Yeah, but he's got to get back up over towards CT spawn. Acor's already taking control. He knows Bit's tucked into the corner. There's Perfecto at range. But Bit is already gushed. He can't peek. And look at how far they're holding Navi back. This is going to take so long. That's a critical kill. What a round so far from Bit. Acor and Isaac blocked into the bomb site. Yeah, they can't really escape. They have to try and fight their way out. They're grouping up to do that. This is really smart, but they just can't find them. Simple shows up, and that's going to be the end of the round. Look at both NPL and Bit. They're so low on health. Molotov holding this hit at bay, but here it comes right after the fact. Gamer Legion going for a timing. Counter Utility is out. Another opening kill for Gamer Legion, but they've made no progress. They've moved forward, not at all. Cut off by Utility, and Navi respond with three very fast kills. As an impossible situation. Gamer Legion used all their utility to get the execute out in the first place, so you have no real cover. Okay, oh. I say impossible, but Isaac, that's two very nice headshots. Bit and Simple go down, Perfecto and NPL scratching their heads. Gotta pick up the pieces. Utility at hand, Isaac's brought very low. It's even more desperate at this point. Yeah, it is. He does actually make it out of the smoke, though, so maybe a chance still. About 27 seconds. He might be very, very low on health, but just needs the one headshot here, maybe for it to work out. Acor goes down now. I think, yeah, he's unfortunately too low to have any extended fight going into that I one. I feel like all the teams coming into the Legends stage that didn't play the Challenger stage, I had the most confidence that Navi was going to be ready to go right out of the gate. Simple with an opening kill with the off. Electronic chimes in as well. Simple goes a little bit too wide around the gap of the smoke. And now Kiaz tries to take advantage. He know the defense has got eyes elsewhere. Bit underneath. Nice shot. Headshot from below so quickly. But Isaac has been the one to provide a couple kills to recover things. Let's see if he's got it in him again here at A-Ram. Yeah, it is. Even though everyone knows of it, but it, it you just you have so many other angles to check typically when you're coming in here. You can see Isaac is even kind of crouching in for it. And even then, he's just not quite going to be ready. Suhei is on his own, and in a one versus four. So it'd be a miracle if he could win this one with 30 seconds left, and not going to happen. MPL will take him down. It's a 5-0 and o lead for Navi. It's good to have a scapegoat for the goat. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you've carried this over to the legend stage. Missed shot from Simple. Isaac with another good headshot. Oh, there goes Perfecto. You still have NPL here. He's going to be called upon early. Defensive smoke to give himself some space to operate to make it a little bit perhaps confusing to the attacking Gamer Legion players. And oh, now they get to exploit everything. Where's the bomb, Jason? The bomb's way far back, but it's all good. There's 40 seconds. And yeah. Four on one, you're fine. You are going to be fine, but that's actually risky, right? There's about 35 seconds left. Yeah, that's a great thing to point out, isn't it, though? Because that is one of the things that makes Simple such a hard orbit to play against, is that dynamic style of just being all over the place. We're down to 22 seconds, and they're going to be setting up an attack towards the bomb site. Bit, again, in shadow, he's been playing there a lot, and it's working out. He's trying to relocate himself and making himself hard to find. And there's Simple again at CT spawn. A new position for him. 10 seconds on the bomb, and they're going to fake the bomb. Actually, the flick not quite connected. Five seconds left, and it's all on Immer. Can't even get the bomb plant down in time before they're right on top of him. NPL comes charging through, and it's a good round for now. And they boosted up Electronic inside of the bomb site. This is going to be very hard to crack this one open. Perfecto starts it off, and it works out just fine. A double kill for him. I don't know how you can make it through right now. 40 seconds left. There's more rotations coming in. As simple as about to be in the market in about five seconds. So you need to hit this right now before he shows up. An Electronic, this boost, it's so simple, but you just don't expect it. And that's the power of it. Acor will take down MPL, and they actually get Electronic as well, down to 25 seconds. And simple. Waiting for someone to cross. That's the bomb. 20 seconds. Yeah, you have to take a risk right now. You have to win this fight, Acor. Otherwise, you're going to lose the round. There's the jump pass, but simple locked on the corner. Down to 13 seconds now. Uh-oh. Oh, the spray. It should be good. And Emma, he'll pick them off. That is perfect. And there's the yelling coming out. Playing right at the edge. They're on the other side. And with an aid in hand, that's going to be an easy kill on Emma. The top fragger right now for Gamer Legion. Gone down at the start of the round. A little bit sloppy, perhaps, and a four on five to ensue, but they're walking out of the ramp on the other side, and they might just be able to find a kill oh. here. Oh, Bit's in so much trouble, but he's in the right place at the right time. And now the alarm bells ring, and he calls it out. They were going for contact, and Gamer Legion is just dry challenging everything on the map. I'm pretty sure NPL spotted this. Yeah, there's a flashbang. They're going to swing for this peak. Double peak towards Catwalk. Shuhei gets himself into cover at the right moment, but he's got nowhere to go. He's the only one here. Headshot is the only way out. And he's eventually shut down. 
Another two on four, which, again, very tricky for Gamer Legion to try and win. Although they do have that AWP, and Acor seems to be warmed up. Isaac down here would love the bomb plant. It's a big risk, and there's nobody to cover him. They just can't cover everything at once, unfortunately. So now it's Acor, one versus four. It's not even close. Perfecto will take him down. Good triple in the round for him. Round number 14, and they're going to go a little bit quicker at it here. It feels like the bomb is oh, there. timing's not there. Yeah, they want to run for it. The jump is absolutely mistimed, and MPL, he's dead before he even realizes what is going on. Navi with a tough decision to make here. They don't have a lot of money to throw away these rifles. So even if it's a four on five, if you you show up here and you lose, you're going to be in trouble. They've lost one round already to this kind of an attack, but Isaac, he walks into the AWP shot. I think that might pull him in to at least go for this or at least investigate a little bit more. Certainly that shot out of Kiaz would have said, let's go forward. Awkward. All of Simple is coming in, and that might be the kill that spurs them forward now. They've got a man advantage. The catwalk player is down. Acor's got to be nervous, and exiting market is electronic to lead the way. Yeah, they set up a smoke to try and get them out a little bit quicker. Acor, good shot with the Deagle. Can he get one more? This is going to be the end of the road for him. And now it's Kios up close. Sue's here as well. Electronic cleaning them up, but he's locked in. He can't escape, but it will not make a difference. The bomb are going to be exploded. They actually did have kits, but they just didn't find their way in time. And you just got a little bit swept up in the Navi hype. Game of Legion, they're right back into it. The timing is good once again. They get down to the floor of the B bomb site. They get the opening as well. Simple now fighting for his life. And they're going to be coming for another <laughs> great shot as he goes for a third. Kios will finally take him down with that second kill. Oh, yikes. Eagle. It was a thing of beauty. Running for the flames is never advisable. And it's going to be a two versus three. Suhei and Emma, the bomb is down there. And Electronic going to be sneaking in. He should have a good view of it. If they want to try and pick it up, they have to fight Electronic. And he knows it as well. Easy, just sliding on through. Taking down Sue. And he's going to be popping up Immer as well. Nine to six at the end of it. Navi recovering a little bit. But what a game we have in our hands here. Second half is coming up after this. Yeah, even more so at the Legends stage, you don't want to be going down at all. You just want to power through, make it a quick 3-0. and oh, You don't want to be spending any more time here because there are some heavy-hitting teams that you could be facing. Oh, there we go. Electronic will pick up Acor and starts out here a 4 versus 3. Acor is gambling over towards the B bomb site, and it is wrong. Yeah, and I can't even understand why they might want to do this. You feel like you're in a three on five, maybe, or a three on four, maybe if you take the risk here and they show up at the B bomb site, it's going to be absolutely great. But now the retake's probably not even doable. And you already had two players parked deep at the B bomb site with a the setup there. So Acor was really the only one, I mean, all on his own, didn't feel like he could accomplish anything. And now you just saved the pistols. So you don't Chaos, even yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Through underpass, we go to create a new split. They've got to be careful with Suhei up in window. Good shot from Simple, waiting for that peek. And this is due to the fact that Navi's been so quiet in this readjustment. Uh, Gamer Legion had no idea of where Navi was on the map. Yeah, and he just wanted the peek, right? He just wanted to see what was actually going on. Emma shows up. Let's know some a couple of bullets. Going to be able to get that one kill. And kind of a labored spray on both sides. Electronic will get the shot. Acor set on fire and ultimately hunt it down in the corner. Bit to pick him up. And this is looking real good. Long range with the Mac 10. It's not efficient, but it'll get the job done either way. Kiosk goes down. Might have even just run it a run there to pick up the AWP, but even that is going to be disallowed. So Isaac, one versus four to try and save right now the... he's boosting, so not going to be throwing any grenades at the moment. Is there a kick around that? Well, he's trying, definitely going to find that one. Yep, so again, pushing through the smoke, trying to get a little bit cheeky, hoping that second smoke that was thrown would protect him, and it did not. Electronic adds a second kill onto his tally, up to 19 kills. Electronic, and all of a sudden, Isaac's the only one at this A bomb site. At least he's got the M4, but he's got three different choke points he's got to worry about. First kill is his. Perfecto pounces. He exposes himself to danger from one angle to have an advantage up towards Palace, but Navi have not pulled the trigger entirely just yet. No, they're going to go back. Acor has to get back up into the window, but if he can, maybe he could... This is actually doable. Look at the time that's left. If the bomb dies in an awkward position here, it could be everything. There's him with the kill, and now Acor sneaking it. around. 15 seconds on the clock. The execute on one, and the follow-up is there. And that's the round. There's nothing Perfecto could do about it. Two deagles over at that B bomb site, and just the fact that the clock had already run down low. I don't even know why Perfecto is hunting this down. He's going to end up dying. And they can return to this bomb side. They have another smoke they can throw up towards that top connector position. And they are actually getting pushed, and he will stand up to the early fight, taking down Isaac. He's well aware there could be a second player, and he's not wrong about it, but unfortunately, Kios will get the kill on him, and Sue going to be picking up Electronic, so it's straight back into a three versus three. 
and Kios inside of the A bomb side. They look like they've managed to stabilize. And in spite of the fact that Gamer Luigi lost the two early fights in this round, nice shot. That's just the Galil finding the face of Kios all the way back at that ticket booth. Yeah, and even going to drop the bomb just to make sure it doesn't get lost because you can see on the mini-map, Bit has already cleared out the B-bomb site. I don't know if Navi's going to choose to fall back. Actually, yeah, Simple will now. He says, he, Bit's calling him over and saying, I have the B-bomb site entirely. I'm pushing in towards market. So Simple's going to try and make the run. Suhez, instead of going underpass, he's going to go in towards window room because Perfecto is still applying so much pressure. Now I, don't, know. I don't know how Suhez's still alive. That would be a huge kill. They're back to the A-bomb site. Navi has gone through three different decisions and it once again is falling apart. 1v2 for Simple. Yeah, all on him right now to try and recover this horrible round. Four seconds left. He's run out of time. He has to try and hunt down Acorn. He can't find him in time. Navi playing too deep for their own good, and definitely they could have won this round. Few players missing utility, but nothing too crazy. Towards the A-bomb site we go. Heavy presence. Meanwhile, Electronic's going to be in middle all on his own. A 4-1 split. Here we go, right through the smoke into the submachine gun of Kios, who picks up a double kill. He's had a really tough game, Kios. That was his seventh kill right there. And now they're in a four versus three. He's the only one that's brought him in missing a little bit on the Gamer Legion side. So if he could have a bit of a resurgence here in the second half, that would be everything. That's, could, that's what could take Gamer Legion over the edge. Electronic going to be taken on Isaac. This round is not done yet. Kios very low on health, and they know it. Oh, he still actually finds the headshot. This flank, you'll never expect it. It's too fast, it's too quick. Perfecto's got a chance in a 1v2, but he might back up right into the op of Acor. Now he's found himself a clutch. Yeah, he's looking for it. The Molotov actually sets him up pretty nicely. Put some pressure on the bomb. He has to go back and pick it up, but one of the most sensible players here in Perfecto. This is scary. At one time for a fake, not going to see anything there. And Acor slowly but surely moving up towards the stairs. He's out in the open. Oh. Shot comes through, reveals his position. It's a little bit early, but now at least Perfecto knows. And he's going to hunker down and try and make sure he doesn't get shot through anything. Another wall bang attempt, but he's coming up short on this one so far. And Perfecto out in the open, and there's the spree. He'll win that one versus one. Well, they've done it before, but with less, so why not? Simple on the early flick to take down Sue. Electronic going to get the return as well. And there is a bit of a stack at the oh. bomb site. Kios and Imra are still here, and he actually landed just a hail of bullets right onto Electronic. That's impressive. And Perfecto hoping to get the wall bang. We're not going to get that one back into a three on three. And would you ever expect Ima to be here? You've picked off two at the A bomb site, right? You picked off Acor with an op at the top of Khan. You picked off one over towards Triple. You know Kiazo is close towards A ramp. Would you expect Ima to just be chilling behind the boxes in the A bomb site? So I actually like this play from Kiazo as well. Going on a little bit of a mission. You know there was one in Palace. He should not get caught off guard by it. Yeah, this is really, really well played from Chaos. Again, had a, had a tough start at the beginning of the game, but and, he's made up for it. And if he doesn't have Ima parked in this position, he probably doesn't make this play. He's just saying, I know there's still defense at this bomb site. He's on a really long mission around now. Ima probably has to get a kill just or at least stay alive for another second. Isaac is not going to be rotating in just yet either. Kios coming back to the bomb site through the middle now, but it's, oh, they don't know. They're just not even going to check. Oh, not getting planted here. And Emma, that's everything you would have wanted. 30 seconds, and it is going to be a 2 on 2 And they're so unsure. Now they have to check everything. And now the nerves have set in a little bit for Navi. This is an important round. Looking for Kios, that Molotov to keep him in play. Now they found him. Now they realize that was the A player. So now we know Isaac rotating from the B bomb site as the anchor. Yep. Oh, and a straight <laughs> shot down. Simple. He's had himself some good finds like that. And this one, it all comes down to this for Game Illusion. Good shot on Emma. And Isaac will spin around. They see what's coming. An attempted crunch towards the B bomb site, and it is shut down. Yeah, this is one great way to get things started if you're going to go on a streak to come back and force this into overtime. If you consider a nice clean round where nobody's gone down quite yet, nobody's really taken too much damage. Emma down to 41. But if you keep all five players alive and money is not going to be an issue moving forward, that makes you feel much more comfortable about the prospect of making this happen. So Simple and Bit have to take a lot of risks coming up to this B-bomb site. Off angle for Ima, another kill for him. And Simple can't take anything away. All five players survive. It's 10 to 5 now. And again, it denies a lot of information for Gamer Legion, which is an area of the game they've really struggled in. Good double made, but oh, it's Sui again. Electronic finds that through the smoke. They saw that coming, didn't they? They knew there was going to be a second attempt to try and bombard that top mid position. 
Yeah, Bit is tagged up, but still a four on five. They're gonna make the jump down. NPL tries to make the run across. He wanted to think, hunt down Immer, who's at the corner, but it doesn't really work out that way. Isaac there to save his teammate. Immer's still gonna be going down eventually. And it's a three on three here. The bomb is at the bottom side, and it's gonna be planted. And there's no coming through this one. That's a little bit too optimistic if you're Isaac. Bit was covering it in a two on three now. They're both in the market, trying to get down. This might be almost impossible. Look at the crossfire that's been set up. Acor on his own. And I think this might be the end of the road here. Acor missing a shot that he needed to hit. And now there's no time. Simple with the last skull to be cracked there. 16 to 10 as they do make their way through. Navi winning their opening games here at the Legends. Yeah.